promised its people a COVID-free summer. Bahrain said there would be a return to normal life. The tiny island nation of the Seychelles aimed to jumpstart its economy. All three put their faith, at least in part, in easily accessible Chinese-made vaccines, which would allow them to roll out ambitious inoculation programs at a time when much of the world was going without. But instead of freedom from the coronavirus, all three countries are now battling a surge in infections. China, as well as more than 90 nations that have received the Chinese shots, may end up in the third group, contending with rolling lockdowns, testing and limits on day-to-day -day life for months and years to come. Economies could remain held back and as more citizens question the efficacy of Chinese doses, persuading unvaccinated people to line up for shots may also become more difficult. One month after receiving his second dose of Sinopharm, Otrogenal Barter fell ill and tested positive for COVID-19. The 31-year-old miner spent nine days in the hospital in Unar Bhattar, the capital of Mongolia. He said he was now questioning the usefulness of the shot. People were convinced that if we were vaccinated, the summer will be free of COVID, he said. Now it turns out that it's not true. In a statement, China's foreign ministry said relevant reports and data also show that many countries that use Chinese-made vaccines have expressed that they are safe and reliable and have played a good role in their epidemic prevention efforts. It cited the World Health Organization as saying that vaccination rates in certain countries have not reached sufficient levels to prevent future outbreaks and that countries needed to continue to maintain controls. A representative from Sinopharm hung up the phone but reached for a comment. Sinovac did not respond to a request for a comment as well.